Yo, what's the plan? Devon X got back. I know we had a little hiccup in the daily uploads, but we're back again to channel that content. If you're excited for the daily uploads, if you don't know what's going on, uploading daily for 14 days straight. I just missed two days, but that is small thing. That is small thing. If you're excited for it, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be sure to see every single video. And I'll be going with the video today. Today we're talking about why things so hard in the tech world in Trinidad and Tobago. So if you're living anywhere in the world, anywhere, and well, not anywhere, but any like like the United States or something. You can find any phone that you want, any phone. You can find a Google Pixel, you can find the LG G6, you can find the LG G5, you can find the LG G4. Anytime you're ready, you can find the OnePlus 5, you can find every single thing. In Trinidad, not so much. Every major phone company, they just know, well, they don't do just know, they probably know about all the phones, but they're only buying Apple and Samsung to stock in their stores because that's all Trinidadians know about. Trinidadian, the basic Trinidadian, just know about the existence of Apple and Samsung devices. So everywhere I go, a high-end phone would be an Apple device, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 10, and the high-end on the Android cell would be Samsung Galaxy S8, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And that's pretty much it. Budget side, you'll see, if you even see the iPhone SE, you're lucky, and you'll see a million Samsung devices, J1, J2, a5, A3, all over the place, all over the place. Apple and Samsung. Trinidad basically built on Apple and Samsung right now. And, and that's, 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 part, that's the first part of the problem. You can't find any of the devices you actually want locally. So like I was talking in the video, like, like I said in the video when I was looking for the iPhone 10, I couldn't even, when I was looking for the Pixel actually, I couldn't even find the Pixel and I buy the iPhone 10 because I couldn't wait without a device. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. It's just so hard to find a device that you want, right? And the next part is if you actually want a device. So let me say I want a Pixel XL, I have to order it online. Now, if you think ordering online is not such a big deal, you're probably from the US because with all the order, all you get all the stuff in two days in front of your door, if it's on Amazon Prime, if it's not on Amazon Prime, you wait however long, it's in front of your door, simple and easy. Not the case in Trinidad. If I want to order something from online, after order it, check out like normal, but ship it to an address in Miami. So there's a company in Miami called a freight forwarder that forwards it to Trinidad. When it comes to Trinidad, I have to wait for it to clear through customs. When it clear through customs, I have to pay to clear that product. Now, I always say this, I, I, do, I never do the calculation in my head. One US dollar is 6.7 TT dollars, right? So I order a one plus three at a time, a one plus three T actually, and pay 800 TT dollars just to clear through customs after already pay for the phone online and PayPal kind of rub me with the transaction fee and everything. And yeah, it's just so tough. It's so tough. On top of not having what you want locally, if you have to order it, you have to pay real money to get it here. It's just ridiculous. And the, the companies that do have the devices like the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus X, which was an amazing budget device, they even get me started on that. I don't know why people didn't stock the OnePlus X down here. And I don't know, the companies that do have it, they don't get much support because people don't know about it. So the general mentality down here is, yo, if you don't have an Apple, if you don't have an iPhone or you don't have a Samsung, you have a, a China phone. Yeah, you have a, a real shitty phone. And that's the kind of mentality, like I keep saying as well, I don't know if I said on my vlog channel or this channel, by the way, if you're not checking my vlog channel, plug Devon X Scott Vlogs, go check it out. But um, I went into Digicel and this guy was like, he gonna buy the Samsung Galaxy S8. I was like, why? He's like, cause that's, that's the, the best phone it have out. I was like, yo, you like Android or you just like Samsung? He was like, I, I, I like Samsung, I like Android, I like both. I was like, so if you're, if you're, if you're a fan of Android, you're looking for a high-end Android phone, check out the Google Pixel 2 XL, just check it out. He's like, what? Google Pixel, where's that Pixel thing? Where's that Pixel thing? I was like, yo, and you here giving people advice? Yo, yo, that was an eye-opener for me. Like you there working in Digicel, giving people advice and you don't know what is a Google Pixel. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, I, I just I just find people should just know more about these devices. I, know, I don't even know how to, to make that happen in Trinidad, but if somebody know how to, I know my boy Keron from Droid Island, he bringing on the Huawei devices, he bringing on OnePlus devices and he's selling them locally. But I mean, as a, a mainstream wise, people not bringing down the actual good, proper flagship Android devices. I'm not seeing anything wrong with the S8, I'm not seeing anything wrong with the Note 8. I'm just saying we don't have any variation and the tech scene in Trinidad that's why it's so hard like I am a tech reviewer on YouTube and if a company have to send me a case that like the company had sent me the iPhone 10 cases the shield on cases I had to pay to clear that like yeah they send me it for free and everything but after I pay to clear it, it come like I just buy the case because I pay like 200 TT to clear it and it's like it come like I just buy the case 
and sometimes that, that's why I tell companies like message me before you send me anything because sometimes a company will send me something something will just show up in my skybox I have no idea where it is I have to pay like $500 to clear it and it's like I, I wish I wish it was easier so if anybody have any ideas on making Trinidad better wait I saw someone like Trump a little bit there way if anybody have any ideas on like improving this scene like like let me know I'm willing to work towards it and I, I don't know I know I just I just thought people need to know like the scene with Trinidad Tech down here and like another thing too in terms of like actual aftercare support we do have that we probably have it with Samsung and Huawei like again Samsung dominating the Caribbean market we have aftercare support there with some authorized Samsung uh, dealers and everything but I mean otherwise if you have an iPhone and you have to fix it you have to find some side of the road technician who watch some YouTube videos I, I, I kind of dissing myself right now because I just fix iPhones down here because it actually have a market for it um you're still not getting that that level of support that you would get with the actual apple store so like a, a while back when the whole battery shenanigans happened when we was when we did the first episode of tech table on this channel by the way if you're worried about tech table is it's it's, it's its own entity now on the own channel called the tech table and as well as facebook i'll leave the links below in the description so don't think i just fall off of that series that series happening weekly every sunday at 2 p.m we are also saying okay when you're talking about the, the apple sh battery shenanigans and mkvh he he was like um at least we're going to take like advantage of the 30 dollar apple battery replacements and i tweeted i was like i wish i was in the u.s to take advantage of this because i can't enjoy that and somebody replied i was like yo dude it's international but what people don't understand yes international means international but Trinidad and the Caribbean kind of off the map we don't have that kind of support we don't have that kind of support we buy something hard luck for we hard luck for me if anything go wrong with it and that's that's just the scene down here it's tough it's difficult if i order something from amazon like for example the softbox when i ordered from amazon one of the um the sockets wasn't working properly i, I turned the bulb I it was short enough and everything and i messaged amazon I was like yo use a freight forwarder to ship this i can't help you so i messaged the company that was like yo we can't help you no support for me hard luck for me because i live in Trinidad. good thing my brother-in-law have an electrical store and he has provide like like wholesale electrical equipment and stuff and he was able to fix it from a if he couldn't fix it from a hard luck had to go pay somebody to fix it from a and it just it just difficult and I want people to understand that it's not so easy in Trinidad so like if you're a tech reviewer starting up and you're in Trinidad just be prepared to pay some money to clear your products I think it's sent for review and yeah that, that's just a scene I thought I should just clear up the scene on the tech in Trinidad for people to kind of understand and get a grasp of what is actually going behind everything here in Trinidad and the tech world here we don't know about if you walk up to the general consumer in Trinidad they don't know what a Google Pixel is they don't know what a OnePlus 5 is they don't know what a Huawei Mate 10 Pro is and it have nobody out there actually educating people on this on a, on a wide on like a wide network with a large reach no everybody just Apple and iPhone and Apple uh, sorry Apple and Samsung and that's just the scene down here that's how it is if you have to get anything else you have to jump through a bunch of hoops you can't send back anything away without spending a fortune my HEC M7 I remember a time well it, it kind of bricked I had to send it away it cost me $330 to send it away when it come back I had to pay to clear it again I was like yo this is double robbery but yeah I hope you kind of understand where I'm coming from with this video just to kind of ex explain what has been going on so I hope you understand if you enjoyed this video if you related if you can relate hit it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and let me know if you have any, any experiences again like like double charge on at the same HEC M7 away or if you had any experience just just having to clear stuff and it just piss you off just just let me know let me know in the comments below let me start a discussion let me see how much people actually had this experience so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching I'll see you tomorrow